everybody welcome back to my channel today I am here talking to you guys about my Louis Vuitton world tour speedy bandolier um, I, it's in the size 30 I just got this for um, like a birthday gift a late birthday gift Christmas um, Valentine's Day gift it's kind of like an all-in-one gift for probably like the next four years for my fiance um, it was definitely a hefty price but I'm absolutely obsessed with it I love it um, yeah, and I, I've been watching a lot of videos about speedies and, uh, you know, the bandolier versus the, you know, the regular speedy. And I really, really, really realized that the bandolier version is definitely more versatile, especially if you don't use it for a crossbody bag. Um, it, it can still give you the option if you were to need it. So, which is what I love. And I always want to have a backup just in case situation, which the bandolier straps are definitely the backup uh, just in case situation. So if you're interested in this bag, please stay tuned. So this um, is kind of is going to be kind of like a what's in my bag video on top of, you know, showing the bag itself. Um, so like I said, I did get this for like a, a all in one type of gift um, from my fiance. And I, you know, like many others, before I decide to want to make a hefty purchase, um, you know, I did a lot of video searching on YouTube and everything, pros and cons what can fit in the bags, all the different types of bags. And I really realized that I really loved the World Tour series just because it offers the monogram with the uh, black treated calves leather, which makes it a little bit more carefree. So it'd be this black leather here. It just makes it a little bit more carefree, you know, and you don't have to worry about it. And you still get the beautiful, beautiful um, monogram canvas. Um, if you got the regular monogram, you get the untreated Bichetta leather which is great, you know, because it does show its wear and it's everything is beautiful on it. However, um, with as reckless and crazy as I am, um, I just feel that this was the best solution and the only way to get this was um, doing the World Tour series, which is totally fine because I had played with it before and I really liked it. So it really helped me um, kind of figure out what I wanted. So let's get into kind of showcasing the bag and I'll show you the exterior of what I have. So right now I have the uh, leather straps that come with it that come, you know, it's a three part strap, the adjustable strap that comes with the bag, like with all speedies, uh, bandoliers. Um, for my stickers that I chose, I have a padlock here and then I have this customizable um, little sticker here. And the padlock I have it because my fiance is a locksmith and I have this here because it has my name on it. And so it kind of just symbolizes us together. And then that's the only actual stickers I have. Everything else is there. Because I didn't want to overpower the bag. Yeah. So. So when choosing the World Tour series, whether you want it to be in the untreated Vachetta Shetta leather handles and you know leather trimmings or with the cowhide leather the regular Vachetta untreated leather um, you get the brownish kind of lining with this one you get the beautiful red textile lining which is beautiful and stunning which I absolutely love so that's why I also another reason why I chose this bag because it's just beautiful and I think that the black leather with the monogrammed is just so beautiful it's so classy it's so you know, you can wear it with anything. It doesn't have to be just a winter bag or, you know, a spring summer bag. You know how, because some people get the monogram with the untreated Vachetta leather. Bich I can't say that word. Vachetta leather for like the spring, summertime, you know, the warmer months, even though, you know, the untreated leather with the sunlight will definitely darken faster. Um, and then a lot of people get the Dunier Aben for like winter time, fall and winter time because of the warm brown tones and everything. And then the Damier Azor is also a great spring bag, people say, but you have to worry about the white um, rubbing off on different fabrics, especially jeans if you wear jeans. This one, I get the beautiful canvas of uh, monogram print, but I also get a carefree kind of like, you know, office type feel with the black treated leathers. So that's why I really, really enjoyed this bag for that reason. Moving on to the what's in my bag or what's on my bag kind of portion of this. Um, on the front here, I have a coach little coin pouch. It has Mickey Mouse because as everyone knows who knows me, I'm a Disney fan through and through. Um, in here, basically, I just have 
band-aids, two hair ties, and my purse holder. Ooh, they're in Kavana. So I just hooked this on and actually this works so well. I was very skeptical about this because I'm like, there's no way. But after using it at Disney, putting my bag on it and this holding my bag, I actually do really like this one and this works pretty well. Um, especially with it being rounded here. So it doesn't really hurt the handles too much. And I don't, you know, I won't do that. Like I said, I have I have two band-aids and two hair ties just for a quick if I need it type situation. So that's really all I have in here. I do have the padlock on here that I just figured out that I was putting on here. I figured that out yesterday, actually. And I have that right here. On this side, as you can see, I have hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer from Whole Foods. And this, um, these hand sanitizers actually come with a carabiner, stra um, carabiner hook, a silver one. But I have this um, Lululemon one from my little mini um, Lululemon backpack like pouch thing that I have. And I, since I don't really use that pouch anymore, I wanted to keep using the carabiner and it works perfectly with this bag. So I decided to put the hand sanitizer on that one so it matches. It's a little big for it, obviously bigger than the one that comes with this one, but it just, it's pretty and it stands out. So that is all I have on the outside. Moving on to what's in my bag. I really contemplated whether I was going to start off with everything outside of my bag and then re put it all back in there, but Either way, I'm taking that and putting it back in. So what's the difference if I do it on camera or off camera? So I left everything in so that way everyone can see. And I will show you what is in my bag. So like I said, it has the red textile lining. And in this zipper compartment up here, I have gum. My Lipsol um, chapstick. I swear by this chapstick. It is like $3, I think, at Walmart. I swear by this. I've used this for years. I've used this for maybe over 10 years because this is just amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing. It's better than the Burt's Bees in my eyes. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I take things out, I'm going to put them back so that way it's not just all sitting outside my bag. Just a side note. I have the little pouch that the lock and keys go into. So when I don't want to use the lock, I can put it in here with the keys. The keys are actually in here. So. These are in here. I will put the lock in there. And I have a little scrunchy hair tie kind of thing. I have obviously one on my wrist right now. One of these. And I'm using one to hold my hair up. Um, toothpick holder that my fiance gave me to hold for him because he always has to have toothpicks. Which, why, why is it open? I don't know. But yeah, so I use this. Keep that in there for him. And then I have, oh, I have this little black carabiner that actually went to my AirPods case. I'm using, an, I'm actually using the carabiner that was on the hand sanitizer for my AirPods case because I couldn't remember where I put this and I just now found it. So I think that's it. Yeah, the pocket is completely empty. All right, the next pouch I'm going to go into is this main compartment here and I have a whole bunch of different pouches. I do have a... Um, organizer in here because I like to be organized with my bags, especially these ones. You know, if I'm going to have a Louis Vuitton bag, I want to make sure that I can, you know, find everything and access it quickly. So I do have an organizer in here and I do like it that it holds a shape. I like, but it has, still gives it a little bit of a slouch. There's still a slouch because it's a size smaller than the 30. It's like for the 25. So I did get a smaller one. If you still want a slouch, I would recommend size down on your organizer. So anyways, in the organizer, the first thing I have is this little wallet, this little coach wallet. Um, I keep in here my Target card, my children's annual passes, their safety cards that their school gives us for picture day, um, and just some other like little biz like cards that I have in here for other stuff. So I keep that in here just so I have it. Um, I have my uh, MagSafe um, wallet, Apple wallet, that has my license on it, or in it, not on it, has my license in it and um, my annual pass, so I carry that. Sometimes when I'm wanting to, when I have a MagSafe case on my phone, I'll just throw it on there. Sometimes I don't have MagSafe cases because I feel like using a pretty case that is unfortunately not MagSafe, which is so rude. I have my MagSafe um, anchor charger that just sits on the back of my chart on my phone 
and it's the same color as my phone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the Sierra Blue. I'm obsessed with MagSafe now that I have a phone that actually has it. I'm obsessed, obviously. I have so many accessories. Um, I have in these little reusable snack pouches, I have um, corded headphones just in case um, my child needs them, which I need to get the other one set out. So I have two pairs for both kids, um, but I just keep those in there. Um, I'll take them out if I want to put like a snack in here or something and I'll clean it out before I do that, obviously. But um, right now they just kind of hold the um, headphones so that way I keep them somewhere. They're really great. I'm using my AirPods right now to actually record this. So I have my little, um, I have my flechette that I got with my Neverfull. It sits in here and it actually, it's where I'll put my phone half the time when I don't want it, it just floating around my bag. I'll put my, my um, phone in this little flechette. And in there, I basically just have more band-aids. I'm not taking it out just because I have it seated, seated in there very nicely. Um, more headphones, I mean more band-aids, tweezers, hair tie. I have two girls half the time. Um, my stepdaughter goes with her mom half the week and my daughter's with me all the time. So with having girls, obviously, you know, you have to have accessories to keep the hair up and out of their face. I have these little clips that help with the hair too. Yeah, and that's basically all that is in this little pochette. Oh, nope, I'm lying. There is a nail file in a case, so that sits in there as well. I also have my phone case. This is the current one I'm using. It's my Luffy case um, for my phone, and that just is, will slide right into the bag here. So, it, well, it'll slide better when the phone's in there and when I actually slide in properly, but I don't know. Um, okay, let's see what else do I have. I have my Coach um, Cinderella little wristlet that was with the Coach Outlets and Disney. So basically all I have in here is some cash, my fiance's, a lot of my fiance's business cards, uh, debit cards, a few, two credit cards for gas. So there's that. Um, I have a little pouch, a little Disney Ziploc baggie that has a whole bunch of pens, a perfume, a Tide pen, and a jewelry cleaner, which is this one right here. This one, I just keep all these in here in case any of these leak or spill. I don't want them to ruin my bag. I have my six ring key holder, which basically has my car key and my one house key. I don't really have any other keys. I don't really need to. There's not much else I need to. Um, I also have this, which is attached to my um, purse. But this is my mini flechette, the Christmas uh, edition for 2021. This is Vivienne in London. So in here, it's basically a catch-all too. I have a mini bottle of Lysol spray. Lysol, Lysol spray. Oh, that was good. Lysol spray. That's what I was trying to say. Ooh, can you guess? More band-aids, more hair ties. I, I cut my fingers a lot because I'm very like, you know, I use my hands quite a bit for no reason, but um, so I do get cut, so that's why I have them. And also when I go somewhere, if someone falls, I have band-aids. And if someone's shoes are rubbing, I have band-aids. Another hair tie. I have my um, little Damier Aben um, card holder, which has my credit cards, my two main credit cards. Um, uh, breath freshener, must have. Lipsol, just in case I don't open the other one. Another hair tie, and then some change. So this one has the beautiful like red interior. It looks like a corally red interior, but it's absolutely stunning and beautiful and I love it. I'll put everything back later. Oh, I have some floaters. I have floating uh, hair accessories, this and this hair tie. So yeah, and then the next one I have is my little uh, Nano Niece. It has, it has a little strap here just to protect the leather, um, the untreated leather, but I do have a piece that has it. I did have a um, Alma GM bag as well that my ex had gotten me, and I had just sold it recently, and um, it was great. It was a great bag. It's just I, I, I needed some. It wasn't 100% what I needed at the time, and I wasn't using it as much anymore, so I decided to you know just sell it and give it to someone who maybe would use it. So, um, but yeah, and here I have 
Tums, Headed Venison, Poop, Poopery, you know, you need to have it. Some more Lysol spray, some Gucci floral uh, perfume, deodorant, mask. Oh boy. Did you cry? More band aids. So, yeah. Alright, so I just shoved everything back in there. And then in this final little section of, well, not final, but the other section I have basically wet ones and Clorox wipes just to wipe down tables. So the Clorox, the Clorox wipes that I have wipe down tables. The wet ones are for hands and face. Um, both of my, this plushette and then my mini plushette are both attached. And I also have a flashlight that goes in my purse so I can see it in the dark because it can be a bottomless pit when I am looking for things in here at night. Um, so with this organizer being smaller than what normally would fit in a 30, um, I have space on this side of my pouch with a purse that I technically, that's just like a catch-all area, but it also helps fill space. So what I have over here is the phone case from Case Defy and it's MagSafe. So when I want to use this one, I can use this one. Yes, I do carry around a spare phone case. Don't ask. Um, in here, I also have another one of those, uh, reusable like uh, rubber um, Ziploc baggies and it has actual um, silicone straws in there that I use when I go out places you know because hmm, don't want to use straws don't litter save the turtles um, and then I have three masks if you all did not know I'm obsessed with Lululemon so I have so the black one that was in my niece mini um, that was a black Lululemon one I have a hot pink one, I have a grayish tie-dye one, and a very pretty blue one. And is that all I have? Oh no. And then I have my AirPods that I'm using to record sound on this. So they are currently in my ear, but this is great because it just locks, it locks it over here. I got this off of Amazon, my fiance. I got him one because, fun fact, fun story about the AirPods. I had bought a, pa uh, a pair of AirPods Pros and I had an uh, old pair of regular AirPods. I gave the old AirPods to my mom and then I had an AirPods Pro that I was using. Come to find out, like I thought I lost them for like maybe like a month or two and I wanted to start using them again and I could not find them anywhere. So me being the dumbass that I am and the idiot that I am, I went instead of actually looking for my old AirPods, I went and bought new ones. 200 some dollars I really didn't need to go spend well actually they're like 300 dollars 300 some dollars I really did not need to go spend but I did and I bought some and then come to find out maybe not even a week after I bought these ones and started using these ones I found them the old ones in my Neverfull like when I, I and I looked in my Neverfull when I was using it I looked in there and I picked up there's like a, a pouch that I have in there from Stony Clover or stone clover whatever it is and I picked it up and I, I looked under it I didn't find it come to find out when I picked it up it grabbed the airpods with it and then when I went to go look in my purse again for something else with my fiance I started to laugh hysterically and he was like you found them didn't you and I was like yeah and he had a pair of um, beats by Dre's um, cordless ones and he liked them, but they just weren't as noise canceling as he would like would have liked them to be. So instead of, you know, returning these ones, I said, well, why don't you just take a pair of my old ones? And he's like, uh. and I, I initially bought him AirPods in the beginning before he got the Beats. And he was like, oh, I don't know if I like these so much, blah, blah, blah. And he liked the, actually, he didn't like the original AirPods. He likes the pros more than this one and not the ones that aren't noise canceling not the new new ones but the one this this version where it's like the noise canceling with the ear tips and everything he likes these ones better so when I gave him those ones I bought him a like a navy blue one of these and I liked it so much and I'm like I want one and so he bought me a purple pair because I'm from Maryland and I'm a Ravens fan through and through so purple and black we got you so I like it it locks it's great it's beautiful I attached the carabiner that I found. I took the other one off. Where's the other one? It's sitting under here. So this was the one that originally came with this hand sanitizer. And I took it off and I've attached this one again since I found it. Yeah, so that is what is in my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 30 in the 
World Tour series. Um, it holds quite a bit. It does. I'm obsessed with this. And like I said in the beginning, at least I think I said it. Um, when I was looking at this bag, I did a lot of research as far as videos, you know, people's opinions. I looked online. I kind of weighed out my options before really telling my fiance that this is the one I wanted. Um, I wanted to make sure that I was going to love it and I was going to be happy just as I am with my Neverfull. My Neverfull is great. Um, I have obviously both bags are very carefree just because they both are in the untreated, uh, or no, not in the untreated. They are in treated leathers. Um, like I said, I've had one that's in untreated and it, it was perfectly fine. I had water spots and stuff here and there, but you know, at the same time I realized, like I didn't actually realize that, um, it would darken and patina over time. I didn't realize you had to be more like, you know, cautious with it. I just kind of used it as I saw fit and I just took it with me. And I think that if I do decide to get one that has the untreated Vachetta, Vachetta leather again, I will definitely still try to keep that mindset because I don't want to limit myself to what I can do with that bag. I live in Florida. It rains here, you know, but the little watermarks, all the little spots on it are kind of your characteristics to the bag. So you kind of, and I know you're spending a whole bunch of money, especially with the now new price increases that are crazy, but, um, you know, and you're, you're spending a lot of money on this bag, so you want to take care of it. And, you know, they say take care of them, definitely, but also don't baby them because they're meant to be worn and they're meant to do this and they're a bag. So, you know, you have to really weigh your, out your options and realize that you don't have to be so careless or careful, you know, careful with it. Um when you do have one of those bags. Um, but if you really are cautious, you know, about having the ones with the untreated uh, Vachetta leather, then I say go with like, spend the extra money to get a World Tour series, kind of have it customized to you, add whatever stickers you like, whatever you see fit, and you know, get something that's carefree, you know? It's, it's what you choose to do, it's what you choose to want to spend your money on because you've worked hard for that money. And, um, yeah, I think, that, honestly, I'm, I'm still obsessed with this bag. I asked my fiance, and he'll tell you, I sleep with it every night. Yes, I do. I have no shame in my game. I sleep with this bag every night because I am so obsessed with it. I'm in love with it. I always, always stare at it. I stare at it when I drive, which is not safe, but I'm just obsessed, and I so appreciate him getting it for me. I love him to death. Um, I'm not going to tell him that, you know, <laughs> can't, you know, gotta keep him on his toes, but, um, I, I'm, this is the best gift he's ever given me. Oh, well, basically until he gives me an actual child, you know, we both have our own children. Um, he has his daughter from his previous marriage. I have my daughter from my previous relationship. I was not married when I had her. Um, but I'm. I love both of those girls to death, you know, and then I have also my daughter's two brothers from her father that I love those kids to death as well. So, you know, but until we have our own child together, this is the best gift he's given me besides my doggy Finley. Finley, he's a beautiful little mini Australian Shepherd. I, I wonder if he, maybe he's an American Shepherd because, you know, I think American Shepherds are a little bit smaller than Australian Shepherds, but he might be cross between two. He might be mixed. So... Because he's definitely a smaller breed. He's a short little guy. He's little. And his sister's little too. Her name's Blue. She's also an Austrian Shepherd, I guess. But yeah, so I'm obsessed with this bag. I think anyone who's really contemplating about it um, and really weighing their options out about it, I, I definitely say it is a lot of money to think about. But once you do it, don't hesitate because it's a great bag. You'll be obsessed with it just as much as I am. Um, any little quirks that it has, like this kind of indents over here a little bit, but you know, it's just probably how I stuff it. Um, I'm fine with it. It just, it's its own little quirks. Um, over here it has a little spot where you can see the red stitching there. That really doesn't bother me. It's it's you know how I see it is that those are little markings on this bag that indicate that this is my bag. So if this were to fade off of it, which it could over which it will over time, I'm sure. Um, but I'm gonna try to make it last as long as I can. But that little mark right there will tell me if anyone ever tries to take this bag from me or whatever, I'll be like, no, this is my bag because I know that there's a little dot right there. 
like a little red dot from there and it's stitching and then this part of my bag indents i know my bag i know the little corks and that's how i see those little imperfections is that it helps me indicate i know it bugs people especially louis vuitton you know obsessors and fans and you know people who purchased you know i say definitely nitpick a little bit make sure that it's how you want it and all that stuff but also these small little corks that it might have just realize that that is its bag's footprint basically that bag is you know minus the micro trick and all that stuff because you know you get people if they were to steal these they might not always, always even try to resell them they might just keep them for themselves because people are just terrible but that's how you can indicate like yeah this bag had that little dot right there of red from the stitching on the inside i know that's my bag don't try to play me you stole it so I just see it like, you know, the little things on here that might bother some people that are 100% Louis Vuitton people, which I get, that let it bother you and you can go and get it fixed. For me, it doesn't bother me and I am so obsessed with this bag. Yes. Thank you again for stopping by and watching this video. If you want a little bit more in-depth video, I can do a separate, a second one for you. I definitely think I'm going to do a second video like with an update on it. I've had it for maybe like a month or so maybe now, maybe. I don't know maybe less than a month i'd have to actually look but i oh it'll almost be a month so i will update and i will do a follow-up video probably within five months or maybe three months depending because i'm really excited about this bag so i might want to talk about it again soon so i don't want to be like a two month or a three month update with this bag and see how the wear and tear on everything is and just kind of showcase it um like i said though like i mean the hardware kind of is getting a little discolored over here and a little bit over here and the lock is kind of crazy looking, but it doesn't bother me. I don't know why. I like when hardware shows its wear, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I, I really don't. It does not bother me at all. So I will do an update video um, probably in the near future about this bag just to show and the wear and tear. Basically one month, maybe like two month update, three month update. So I want to showcase because I'm obsessed with this bag. The little scratches and all that stuff everywhere does not bother me one bit because I'm so in love with this bag. And I love the little scratches on the hardware for some reason. It just, it just for some reason just shows me that I love this bag. I wear this bag. This bag is my bag. So yeah, so I'm obsessed. I'm going to go lay down and cuddle with this bag and take a nap probably. But um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will update you guys and I will post more videos about it because I'm obsessed with this bag, like I said. And like I said, I, I love watching these type videos. I still watch videos about speedy bandoliers right now and I'll hold my bag while I'm watching the videos on my phone. Um, because it's just, for some reason, these videos are fun and they're just fun to watch. So I'm going to maybe hop on that train a little bit and try to talk about it and i will also show a update on my never full as well so if you have any questions please comment down below i would be happy to answer them um hopefully pos positive comments only um i know there's always going to be negative ones and that's totally fine i'll just send you back with some positive vibes and yeah so thank you again for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day